Hi folks, uh, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. I just want to talk about your call to ministry. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, it says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou camest from out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go, to shall thou, uh, uh, thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. <clears throat> I just want to talk about your call to ministry. I want to talk about, for a minute, those who are troubled in their lives about whether they are called to ministry or not. Um. And, and and domestic issues in terms of marriage and ministry and work issues and finance issues. There are many, many people uh, who have been trained or are called to ministry but are in secular employment and are struggling with the tension of should they be in full-time ministry, but how do they do it when they're in secular employment? There are those who are in ministry, but cannot finance themselves in terms of um, a salary. And I want to ask the question, how do you deal with those situations? How do you deal with the situation where you feel that you you're working in a secular environment yet you feel called to to ministry and you're frustrated how do you deal with uh that you're in ministry and you don't have the finances to uh go forward full time but yet you're still in ministry the other thing i want to talk about is as well how do you deal with the issue concerning uh, you're in ministry but discouraged. You, you seem to have opposition or you seem to be depressed or down and discouraged and you wonder whether what you're doing is the right thing. So even Charles Spurgeon had times of doubting whether he was called to the ministry. <coughs> even the best of men. So how do we deal with it, these three big issues? When you're in work, but yet you have a heart to do ministry, you're in ministry, but you can't finance it, you are in ministry and you are struggling whether you should be in ministry or not, uh, with depression or with opposition in your ministry. Uh, and also, I think, in terms of marriage, about if you're married, and there are issues within your marriage and you're, and you're wondering, should I be in ministry uh, in that situation? So these are the four issues that uh, I want to talk about. And again, let's go back to Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then I said, Our Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to, to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, says the Lord. I think that the answer to all those questions comes down to this. Are you called to ministry? Are you called to ministry? Once you get that right, then everything else will fall into place. The question that you need to ask if your marriage is 
struggling and you're in ministry is are you called to ministry the question you need to ask if you're in, in full-time employment and yet you desire to be in ministry the question you need to ask is are you called the question you need to ask when you're in ministry and you want to finance it but you're finding it difficult the question you need to ask is are you called and then fourthly if you are struggling with opposition or struggling with depression you need to ask yourself are you called now there is an inward call and an outward call the inward call is where the holy spirit gives you a sense of this is what you should be doing gives you the graces gives you the grace in your character the grace of gifts of, of whatever it is that you need uh, for preaching and ministry but also gives you an outward call where people recognize that that is your calling these are the graces that god uh, th this is the inward and outward call and you have to ask yourself are you called to ministry once you've got the call then everything else will fall into place for me i believe that i was clearly called to be a minister of the gospel i had three clear verifications of that in terms of um the verse that god gave me feed my lambs it was in the ceremony it was on the cake it was on the wall of the church uh, i uh, and also i have uh, an outward call where people recognize the gifts that i have But once you've got that call, then that gives you the confidence to know that God is with you in it and that he'll help you with your marriage. He'll help you with the finances. He'll help you if you're frustrated, should you be, if you're working full time and you're trying to wonder how you're going to get into full time ministry. You don't have to worry because if you're called, then God will make a way for you. And if you're in ministry and you're wondering how to finance it, you don't have to worry because God will make a way for you. He'll show you the way how to finance that ministry. And if you suffer with depression or you uh, have opposition, God will make a way if you're called. So it's getting back to what you're, are you called? Have you an inward and outward call? And once you get, uh, and you've got to keep coming back to that call, that this is my calling in my life. Because it's so easy to, to be distracted and to be put off. Now you might say, well, what about my responsibilities to my wife? I, I, I've got to provide for my wife. Well, the Lord will show you how to provide. He'll show you the way. But you need to know what you're to be doing mainly. Are you called to minister the gospel? Your priority is to minister the gospel. And the Lord will make a way in all the other practical issues of your life. He'll show you how to sustain a family. He'll show you how to, to go forward. But you need to know, is that what you're to be doing? Because it's so easy to get distracted or to be put off by other things. So are you called? Do you have a burning desire to preach? Do you have a burning desire to proclaim the word? Do you have a burning desire to be an encouragement to God's people? Do you have a burning desire to go out and reach people? Those are signs that you're called. Do you have a word?